In the face of adversity, there lies an incredible opportunity for growth. You see, greatness isn't born from comfort and ease. It is carved out of challenges, sculpted from setbacks. Forget what you've been told about the limits of your potential. Based on where you came from, what's happened to you, the color of your skin, or the balance in your bank account. Those are just factors, not predictors. To get through the challenges you'll face in life on your way to success, you have to be a warrior. What's a warrior? It's not someone who just wants to fight all the time. When they lose a job, they believe a better one is on the way. When you lose friends, you automatically believe that better ones are on the way. When everything falls apart, the warrior believes that everything will be put right back into place better than ever. Be a warrior. I believe there's some good in every situation that we face. I believe if you train your mind to see the good in the situations that you don't like, that brings you discomfort, that brings you a certain level of opposition, I believe if you train your mind to see the good in it, it's easy to extract it. Nothing changes and nothing changes, man. You have to change some things or nothing will change. Because once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. Whatever you're going through won't last forever. As stressful, frustrating, or demotivating as your circumstances might be, they will eventually pass. It's about the incremental steps. We all want that perfect body today. We all want the nice penthouse view, the car, the clothes. We all want that right now. But between where you are now and where you want to go, there's a whole library of lessons that must be learned. There are lessons that must be learned between where you are and where you need to go. And that is called the process, ladies and gentlemen. Embrace the process. Embrace the hardest parts of this journey. Because I promise you, they're going to keep coming in the future. This is not a one-time thing. They're going to continue to come at you until you learn the lesson you have to learn. And the reward for learning the lesson is one more lesson. Pretty f***ing sure you told yourself you were going to start on the first. And I'm pretty sure you told yourself again you were going to start on the second. When's it going to be? Make the f***ing change that you need to make. Become the person you need to become. Now is the time to fix it. So don't wait another day, don't wait till Monday, don't wait another f***ing year, start today. It's okay to walk alone. It might be discouraging sometimes, but letting go of toxic people will be the most liberating thing you can do for your soul. The truth is, some people just don't want to see you succeed. They'd rather see you fail, because the new version of you makes them uncomfortable. Most of us are only one to 10% away from greatness. But we think we're so far away from it that we never try. It's easy to use your childhood as a crutch instead of seeing it as a chisel. I always hear people say, my family is so dysfunctional, using it as an excuse or something but is not really a valid excuse because everybody's family is dysfunctional in some way. There are so many crutches people want to use to justify themselves, but for me, you have to eliminate every single one of them. Get rid of them all. Then tell yourself it's up to you. What are you going to do now that you let go of all those crutches? And you have to be willing to put yourself in very difficult situations at all times to be able to do that. So my big takeaway of life is if you're constantly taking the easy way out, you're never going to callous your mind. And when you're in those points where you want to quit and not quitting and seeing how the mind starts to operate in those moments of fear, anxiety, self-doubt, insecurities, mm -hmm. and that's where you learn to fix it. You don't fix it in 72 degree weather. Fix it yes. by going into the environment.
Can we define a bad day without comparing it by definition to a good day? And vice versa. We decide what a good day is by comparing it to what a bad day would be. You can't have good days if you don't have bad days. If there are no bad days, the good days don't exist. That's why failure is so important. Like failing and f***ing up and making mistakes, it's very important. You, that's how you learn. That's how you, the bad feeling that you get from something that you shouldn't have done or wish you didn't do or wish you did better. It's dangerous to dwell on past mistakes because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had. They don't like the feeling of failure, so they keep low expectations so that they never have to feel that. You got to get through it. You want to know what true courage is? True courage is taking the test. True courage is finding out what you can or can't do. You can't keep sweeping what's important aside for another day because the honest truth is you aren't promised another day. It takes courage to put yourself on the fringe of failure just to determine whether or not you will succeed. Two paths in life. This is the path I chose a long time ago. It's the lonely road. You're going to feel alone all the time. You can have team around, you can have mentors, Trust me, you'll feel alone. You're gonna wake up earlier than everybody else. You're gonna go to bed later. Why do I tell you that? That way when these things are happening, you'll know, oh, these are signs I'm on the right road. Most everybody else will do this, the crowded road. It's well lit, there's navigational equipment, there's directions, really good roads. The lonely road, no navigational equipment most of the time. It's dark, it's not well lit. There's a huge ups and downs, massive turns. Road kill along the side of other people who quit on their dreams. Do the thing everybody else does. Listen to the haters. All the stuff they tell you, what's so bad about where you are? It's okay, what's so, any of that sound familiar? That's all the lonely road stuff. You're on the right road, don't yield. It's really heavy when you start to look at your, you know, you look at your life, you look at your health, you look at your business, you look at your family, you look at your relationships, and you look at all those things that are messed up in all those areas. And when you say all those things, all those problems in my business, my life, my health, all those things are my fault. That's really a heavy weight to bear. But it's also extremely liberating because if it's all your fault, you're the one that can fix it. Yeah. You're the one that can get your business back together. You can repair the relationships. You can get yourself healthy. Like you can take control of all those things. I was the one holding me back. I was the one looking for the escape go. And you know, I was the one looking for all these ways to say, it's okay, David. You're a loser, you're a born loser, so it's okay. It's on me. Winning requires you to go so far deep inside yourself. It's way beyond the surface. It's way beyond internal. It's going to a place that a lot of people haven't visited in a long, long time because they're afraid to visit that person because when they visit that person, they don't know who that person is anymore. When the winter comes, make this note. Just hang on. You know, the winter cannot last forever. There's never been a double winter. Some are difficult and some are easier. There's never been a double night. The night only lasts for a few hours and then the day finally dawns and the shadows flee away. Fear is always about. That means it does not exist. You cannot fight. Or you cannot overcome. That which doesn't exist.